Hey guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm going to be recreating Olivia Rodrigo's Instagram photos, but with American Girl dolls, because her album just dropped, and I thought this would be a fun idea to do. So here I have picked out a couple of photos that I wanted to recreate from her Instagram. But first, I needed to make a lot of these clothes because I didn't have anything. So for the first photo, I have this checkered pattern already, so I thought it would be easy to make a doll-sized version of this shirt. So I sewed that. I thought this would be a fun idea to do because Olivia Rodrigo, if you didn't know, played Grace in the American Girl movie um, a couple years ago. Even though I don't think she looks anything like Grace, but we're gonna let that slide, I guess. So here I am cutting out the cuffs for the shirt and also the collar. I kind of just winged it. I didn't use a pattern or anything. I just kind of eyed it or guessed <laughs> how I was going to do this. And then I hand sewed on the bow that goes on in the middle. And yeah, that's the finished shirt. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, the only thing I don't like is uh, in the final photo, her hair kind of ended up covering it anyway. So it's fine. It's still a cute shirt. I can use it anyway outside of this photo. And uh, I didn't bother changing her pants or her shoes anymore because you weren't going to see it. So excuse her really, really weird outfit. <laughs> and so I set up a bunch of stuff on the table in front of her because it was kind of hard to tell what it was. I just put some junk food and this cake that my sister had made and some fabric in the front. I'm not really sure what was on that table. I just kind of put a bunch of clutter. And I took the photo and here I am editing out the background. Yeah, this photo was kind of a struggle actually. I think this might actually be my least favorite photo out of the recreations, just because I didn't really like the way it turned out, but it was okay. <laughs> And then she kind of has lighter brown hair at the end, so I tried adding that. And anyway, yeah, this is the final photo. Okay, so for photo number two, I decided to go with the album cover. And I didn't really show much of the process of making the shirt because it's a hassle to like film while you're trying to sew. And this is not a tutorial, so I'm just showing you my process. And then I also didn't really have stickers and didn't want to go out and buy stickers. So I thought I would just try and draw them or try and recreate some of the ones that are more noticeable on her face. So I painstakingly drew these and cut these tiny little stickers out. And then I stuck them onto her face with poster putty. And I kind of just stuck them in a similar pattern as it was in the original photo. And then of course, I can't forget the sour because that's the whole point of this album cover is the name of it. And then I started putting it like below her mouth, but then it looked like buck teeth <laughs> because they don't have tongues. So I just put it on her chin instead, which is the next best thing. I tried fixing her hair because her hair is actually curly in the photo and this doll's hair is straight, but this is the best I could do. And then when I edited this photo, I changed the background color to purple because my wall is blue, not purple. And there wasn't that much editing else to do on this one. I just adjusted the lighting and yeah. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I do wish I had a doll that had curly hair because I think that would have been more accurate, but there's nothing I can do about that.
And then for photos three and four, I decided to go with this photo shoot that she did and post it on her Instagram. I have this red tulle fabric and I thought this would be perfect to try and make the dress or the tutu, I guess. So I did that method where you loop it around the elastic. It's pretty simple. It just kind of is time consuming. <laughs> And I also had this orange tutu that I put under to add volume and also be like the underskirt because I thought it was close enough to red so it'd probably be covered and I think it turned out alright. I only did the front half too because I don't really think I'm going to be using this again and there was no point in wasting time to do the back because I wasn't going to be able to see that part in the photo so. I also just pinned on a piece of fabric for the top as well instead of sewing it because I was kind of lazy. And like I said, I don't think I'm going to be using this that much afterwards, so I didn't want to waste time doing that. And then next I also needed to make some black tights because I didn't have any. And then I realized I couldn't do this with the sewing machine, so I decided to hand sew it instead. And I made these just out of some old socks that I took from my grandma, so thanks to my grandma for giving me some old socks. <laughs> And then I tried to figure out which shoe fit best and I decided on these Converse because I thought they were just like the best quality. They're actually American Girl doll shoes, so. I took the photo outside because the lighting was better, but I put this white poster board behind her so that I could mimic the original photo. And then when editing, I extended the background, tried to take out the noticeable line between the two poster boards I was using, and then just added that little watermark that's from the original photo. And yeah, these are how the two photos turned out. I'm pretty happy with these because yeah, it didn't take that long and I think it still turned out well. And for the final photo, I decided to go with this one. So I didn't really need to sew anything for this because I already had sewn white pants and found this white tank top that could work perfectly. And I conveniently have a little TV as well, so this photo was just perfect. And I propped her feet up because her feet looked like they were up in the original photo. And you know what? Dug out of the trash and found a toilet paper roll to put onto my lamp to get that spotlight effect. <laughs> uh, I adjusted the colors. It's very green in the original photo, so I tinted everything to be more green. And I darkened the background. Adjusted the colors a little bit more, and yeah. And yeah, those were all the photos. Um, so I'm gonna go through like a little rating of what I thought for each of them. So for the first one, I would rate it maybe a six out of 10, just cause I don't like it as much. For the second photo, I think I did it pretty well. Uh, I don't really like how you could see the texture of the wall, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I would probably rate that one an 8.5 out of 10. For three and four, I would rate these a nine out of 10 because I just like the way they turned out and I think they were pretty accurate too. And the pose is kind of hard to do with dolls because they don't have joints, but I did the best I could. <laughs> and then this last photo, I would also rate a 9.5 <laughs> out of 10. The point five being it's not perfect and I like everything to be perfect, but you know what? 
as Hannah Montana says, nobody's perfect. Okay, anyway, check out Olivia's album because it's really, really good. And thanks for watching. Bye!